General Garland, I'm sure you will agree with me that the independence of the federal judiciary is one of the crown jewels of our form of government. And historically, uh, federal judges have had a hard time defending themselves against uh, attacks uh, of various kinds. And I just want to raise with you my concerns that um, we're seeing not only attacks like those from former staffers of this committee who happen to now be on the outside in special interest groups, saying that now when reporters cover the story of cases being decided by judge, they ought to cite the partisan affiliation of that judge. And um, saying it's important to say, for example, it's not just Chief Justice Roberts, or say that he's a Republican, not a conservative-leaning justice. Um, this is happening in the press. It's happening on social media. As you've already discussed with some of my colleagues, this has led to um, political protests at the justices' homes uh, and even a threatened assassination of a member of the Supreme Court of the United States. But unfortunately, it's not just limited to, um, to the uh, outside partisan uh, rabble-rousers. It includes speeches made by United States senators on the floor of the Senate. Um, Mr. Chairman, I'd ask unanimous consent that a copy of this speech dated February 16th be made a part of the record. Thank you. Without objection. This, uh, this is a speech by a United States senator trying to discredit a judge, happens to be in Texas, Matthew Kaczmarek, that Senator Cruz and I recommended and who was appointed and now serves in a, uh, it with lifetime tenure as a federal judge, calling him a lifelong right-wing activist, a partisan ideologue, an anti-abortion zealot. And he goes further to say that regardless of how Judge Kaczmarek may decide this particular case, that it will inevitably be affirmed by the activist Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals and then surely rubber stamped by the United States Supreme Court. Um, I find this sort of rhetoric, particularly by a United States Senator, to be appalling. And I wonder if you will join me in condemning that sort of attack on the independence of the federal judiciary. Um, when I first got on the judiciary, um, I and several of my colleagues pounded our uh, heads against the wall trying to get the reporters to stop, and this is 20, more than 25 years ago, to stop reporting what, uh, the name of the president who appointed us and, uh, or the party. Uh, unfortunately, this is, this, is, uh, this is a battle that has, has not been won, and, and I don't think, obviously, given the authority of the First Amendment and its, its importance, is one uh, that uh, we're not going to be able to win. I, I, I come from a kinder and gentler uh, era and a kinder and gentler uh, court, uh, even in terms of the way the members of the court treat themselves. Um, I, 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 General Garland, you I, are I don't know what else to say. enforcement officer of the United States. Yeah. Will you condemn it? Yeah. I am against divisive rhetoric of all kinds, but I do not have authority in this matter. As you know, the speech and debate clause. You have, you have moral authority. Well, my moral authority is against divisiveness from all sides and all quarters and uh, from all arguments to be made on the merits. That, Senator, that's, uh, that is my moral authority. Senator Lee. 